We're here at Big Day Out 2014 with Les and Larry from Primus. Thanks for joining us. Yes, of course. Thanks for uh, letting us occupy your seats. <laughs> yes, indeed. We've got, you know, we've got the two ferns on either side here. <clears throat> ferns, ferns and curly brown hair. Are, I'm being flanked by two Larrys and hair and ferns. It's actually quite symmetrical in, in yeah. some ways, yeah. It's, you planned it. Well, how did uh, how'd the set go today? It went swimmingly, as they say in Gay Perry. <laughs> And it went well. Yep. We have umbrellas now on stage, which shields shields my sensitive, <laughs> fair skin, which, which I love. <laughs> I, I would say you're not used to the sun, but it's California. You, you get sun in I'm California. Northern California. <laughs> oh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> little little less sun up. You there. guys, your sun down here is a, little, this is a whole new ball game. It sun is. down here, you know. Less ozone layer, all that fun stuff. Yes, I think we're about 10 feet from the sun down here. Yeah, you have the Uber sun. <laughs> That's right. Well, umbrellas are a very good choice. I love the umbrellas. <laughs> umbrellas and, and they look kind of styly. Mm. I'm ready to order a pina colada when I'm up there. You know, I <laughs> keep waiting for some cabana boy to come along with some, some exotic drink. <laughs> that would certainly add an element to the set that perhaps hasn't existed in the past. Yeah, might have to get soya <laughs> drum tech to do it. I mean, when, when it comes to your sets at the moment, you know, there isn't exactly a particular album to, to sell at the moment. That's pretty much, that's, that's, that's been for the past 20 years. What are you talking, what's different? But, you know, there's, but, you know when you re release a new album, you play songs off that. At, at the moment, you know, how are you comprising your sets? Well, I mean, you know, we've always mixed it up. So every night's different, every day is different. I mean, we're doing a pretty short set. So uh, people do like to hear a couple of the so-called <laughs> under-the-radar hits that we've had over the years. Classics. The classics. Classics. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> but um, so we throw in a couple of those. Mm. And we got a solo show. Was it tomorrow night? Yes. So we'll be playing for hours, just nonstop mayhem, dipping deep into the catalog. and <laughs> I don't know. Every night's different. So we just, yeah. it just depends on how you feel, you know? So how'd you feel today? I felt great. Yeah. It's Australia Day, man. Had to, you had to lay it down for the Aussies. Indeed. And, you yeah, know, they're shooting cannons off by my hotel. I had figured, got to get fired up for this thing. That's exactly right. You shoot musical cannons into the crowd. Musical cannons. Yeah, that's, I like that. That's good. When it comes to festivals in Australia, you've done quite a few over <laughs> the years, going back into the 90s with Alternative Nation and Soundwave a couple of years ago, and, and of course, Big Doubt a couple of times. How, um, how have, how, how, not just in Australia, but festivals in general changed over, over the last uh, 15, 20 years? What's, uh, what have you noticed about, has audiences changed? Well, you know, what's, 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 what I'm finding, you know, obviously things tend to be cyclical in, the, in, in music and fashion and art and film and everything. And, um, you know, back in the early 90s when we were first kind of plunking around as young bucks spewing sweat and noise at people, um, you know, along came this thing Lollapalooza, which sort of ch completely changed the topography of, of, of festivals and the music scene, at least in the United States, and it was somewhat based on the Reading Festival, where you had all these different genres playing together. And I was, oh my God, that's a, uh, what an epiphany, what a, what a unique thing. And then that went on for quite a long time. Well, now I'm seeing, uh, you know, even, even here now with Big Day Out and Soundwave and whatever, there's, it's starting to segregate again a bit, you know, which... which for good or ill, mm -hmm. I'm seeing that all around the world. They're starting to to uh, compartmentalize festivals again. Mm. So, you think that's is that a good thing? For me personally, I, I tend to like a, you know sort of a mixed platter of things. You know, I don't you know I, I don't I, I don't I don't want the same thing mm -hmm. continuously. But that's just me. But in general, I think festivals are always a always a, an enjoyable thing to do on occasion because. You meet new people, you know, we've become pals with the Luminaires and the Arcade Fire and just met some of the guys from the Hives and it's kind of a cool thing to mm. meet some of your, some, 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 make new comrades, so to speak, in, mm. the, in the world of, of dropping noise on people's heads. <laughs> so, uh, it, it's, it's a good time. And, and Australia has always been fantastic for us. It's a great place to visit, you know, escaping the cold of our winter right now to come to your summer and <laughs> get blasted in the face by raised at the Gold Coast and all that whatnot. Hence, hence the umbrellas. Hence the um.